What if I told you there's a surveillance system so powerful it can identify you in a sea of millions? Even if you're wearing a mask, sunglasses, or hiding in a crowd. Not in a movie. Not in the future. It's already here. It's called Skynet. It's not science fiction. It's China's real-life AI-powered surveillance weapon. Across the streets of Beijing, in the markets of Chengdu, and even the most remote towns of Tibet, invisible eye watches constantly. With over 600 million cameras, China is home to half the world's surveillance equipment. This isn't just about capturing images, it's about control. These cameras are connected to an AI so advanced, it doesn't just see you, it knows you. Your face, your walk, your voice, your behavior, everything is analyzed, categorized, and stored. Skynet was launched quietly in 2005 under the guise of public security. But year after year, it evolved into something else, something much bigger, a national biometric web that now envelops over 1.4 billion people. Facial recognition is only the beginning. The system uses gate detection, meaning it can recognize how you walk. Even if you wear a mask or hide your face, Skynet still knows who you are. A BBC reporter once tried to evade the system in a Chinese city of over 5 million people. He was located in just 7 minutes, not by a human operator, but by machines. This is real-time tracking processed by AI, monitored by the state. And it's not just about where you are, it's about what you do. The footage feeds directly into China's controversial social credit system. If you jaywalk, criticize the government, or buy something considered sensitive, it's recorded, your score drops. Suddenly you can't book flights, buy high-speed train tickets, or even enroll your kids in private school. Punishment without trial. Consequences without warning. In the far west of China, in the region of Xinjiang, the system is even more aggressive. Skynet monitors Uyghur Muslims around the clock. It tracks their phones, their movements, their interactions. Algorithms look for abnormal behavior. Even something as simple as using WhatsApp or growing a beard. Entire communities are flagged for suspicion, watched more closely, and often detained. The surveillance isn't just preventative, it's predictive. It guesses who might become a threat based on behavior patterns. Minority populations become suspects. Freedom becomes a risk factor. But it doesn't stop at China's borders. Over 60 countries are now buying this technology. Governments seeking control, whether democratic or authoritarian, are adopting Chinese facial recognition systems, smart city packages, and data monitoring tools. Some include training on how to use it for, for crowd control, dissent suppression, safe, and political monitoring. Surveillance is now a global export. Skynet's expansion is reshaping what it means to live in a modern city. Urban efficiency, crime reduction, and smart services come with a cost, the slow erosion of privacy. These systems are seductive. Cameras reduce theft, AI stops accidents, facial recognition unlocks doors. But behind the convenience is a silent trade. You give up control, permanently. The ethical questions are vast. Who owns your face? Who decides your behavior is wrong? What happens when the system makes a mistake or when it doesn't? Skynet doesn't sleep, it doesn't blink, it learns every hour, it watches everyone, and once it's in place, it rarely disappears. Surveillance becomes normalization, silence becomes safety, and freedom becomes something we used to talk about. This isn't just China's future, it's a warning. As AI advances and as governments crave more control, Skynet isn't an exception. It's a model, and the world is watching, or maybe it's already being watched. If you think you're not part of the system yet, think again. Your camera's on, your data is stored, and your face, it's already in the cloud. Because the future isn't private, it's observed, calculated, controlled. The age of invisible power has begun, and it's watching you.